You're watching Local 24 News at 6. The year 2020. Is it the mark of a new decade? Or instead, is it 2021? The debate is a trending topic as we inch closer to midnight. Local 24 News reporter Brittany Moncrease in the studio now after speaking with an expert who broke it down for us. Brittany, what did you learn? Well, Katina, I'm told there are two schools of thought. Team Zero, the 2020 folks, and Team One, the 2021 people. Which one is right? Let's see. Okay, now, it's time to settle the score. The mark of a new decade, is it 2020 or 2021? This is officially the end of the decade. I am Team Zero, 2020. I love accuracy, so I believe it is 2021, but I also love convenience, so I have to go with 2020. Some say 2021. Question mark? Nah. I think this will be Roaring Twenties number two. According to Memphis Astronomical Society President Jeremy Veldman. It's counterintuitive because from the time that we were young, we were taught to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's actually the wrong way to count. It's zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then you start with a new 10 notation. Okay, that's just way too much for me. <laughs> In other words, you have the ones and the tens columns. When the tens changes, new decade, class dismissed. Not so fast, it's history time. If you go way back, 2,000 years into the past, even before that, the number zero supposedly didn't exist. It wasn't introduced into our culture until around the 6th century AD. You sneaky zero, you. It's a lot easier to reference a decade with the 70s or the 60s. In that case, 2020 could be the start. When Y2K happened, I mean, it was the year 2000. It was not, you know, 2001. If you turn 50, are you in the first year of your 50s or are you in the last year of your 40s? And when it comes down to it, it depends on if you count that zero. Most people we spoke with felt the new decade starts 2020. There were also others who said it doesn't matter. Let's just bring in a new year. Live in the studio, Brittany Moncrease, Local 24 News. Britt, that's too much. Thank you. A lot to think about, and we wanted to know what you think. So does the decade end with 2019 or 2020? Elaine Birch says 2019 ended the decade. 2020 begins a new one. Lynette Rucker agrees. She says 2020 begins a new decade. Why would there be a debate about this? Shaking my head. But Josh Hornsby disagrees. He says 2021 is the start of the decade. And Jared Baer, well, he sums it up this way. The 1900s ended in 1999, even if the 20th century ended in 2000. Likewise, the 2010s end this year, even if the decade doesn't actually end till next year. It all depends on the frame of reference. So who's right? We're still trying to figure it out. Join the conversation. Just look for this post on the local Memphis Facebook page.